outside building. Hi, I'm Melanie and I'm an engineer on the Soundscape team. I'm here with Amos and today we're going to show you how to develop a route in Soundscape. First, we're going to scout the route, then we're going to assemble it in Soundscape, and finally, we'll test the route and we'll adjust it as necessary. Hi there, I'm Amos. I'm also on the Soundscape team. Um, I work here in Building 99 on the Microsoft campus, um, and we'll develop the route to the commons, which is where the restaurants are and where we often get lunch. Uh, we'll, the route will take us down this path through the woods, and then we'll emerge next to the commons and find a restaurant, which will be our destination. So let's go. Melanie guiding Amos. Building 99 Fountain. When we scout a route, we look for cues and landmarks that will serve as waypoints. We'll mark these waypoints in Soundscape, give them a name, and continue. I'll do it on my phone so that Amos can focus on the route. Building 99 Parking Garage. Okay, I can hear the garage is here on our right. Approaching intersection. 150th Avenue goes left. 150th Avenue goes right. Okay, let's create a point here at the top of this long stretch. On a smartphone. Good idea. And we'll also add one at this crosswalk. Marker created. Crosswalk. Garden. Walking on a path through the woods. Okay. Let's mark this fork in the path. That sounds good. Marker created. Walking through an open pedestrian plaza. Fountain. Standing by the door. Okay. Let's leave our last marker here, and it'll be really helpful in this wide open space. Marker created. Excellent. Sitting in a cafe, phones in hand. Okay, so now let's assemble our route in Soundscape. I'll create a new route through the woods into the commons, and I'll add all of our markers that we just created. It's really easy to add them and to reorder them as you need to. This marker needs to move a little closer to the building, mm -hmm. so I'll just nudge it a little bit. Okay, cool. Let me share the route with you. Okay, I got it on my phone. I'm just going to open it with Soundscape. Markers and routes. And Heading. it looks really good. I can see all the waypoints. Melanie just Heading. sent me the route, but I could have just as well created it on my phone. Uh, the marker creation process is completely accessible even through voiceover. It's very easy to do. It really depends how you feel and how you want to go about it. Okay, so let's try this. We're back at Building 99 and the start of our route. With Soundscape, you navigate to a waypoint using an audio beacon. I'm going to start the route. And Soundscape has placed the audio beacon on my first waypoint. I can hear the waypoint in that direction. I'm using non-occluding bone conduction headphones because they allow me to hear the environment around me. You can use any type of headphones that you prefer, or you can just use the speaker on the phone. Okay, so let's head off. Amos walking in front with his white cane. 75 feet. Fire hydrant is nearby. Beacon set on 150th, 480 feet away, 2 of 8. Garden. One hundred fiftieth is nearby. Beacon set on crosswalk, 45 feet away, 3 of 8. Crosswalk is nearby. Beacon set on steps to the woods, 95 feet away, 4 of 8. Fork in the woods is nearby. Beacon set on right to commons, 645 feet away, 6 of 8. OK, 
Okay. Microsoft Commons We're is nearby. We're getting close to the door here. Yes. Route complete. And here we are. Right. Is that the door? Awesome. Thank you. Routes are a really structured navigation experience, which you can create and control. But if you want a less structured experience, you can always just place an audio beacon on anywhere you'd like to go. Soundscape is really easy to use and super flexible. Soundscape helps me to learn a route much faster. I can build a mental map of the space and my O&M and I, we enjoy building the route together. It's a lot of fun. It's very easy. The next time you go out, just put on Soundscape, enjoy the ambient experience that you hear. It will all make sense very quickly. Thank you and enjoy using Soundscape. Microsoft Logo.